So I'm down here in my studio and I wanted to show you a canvas that I've had for about 30 years. Um, and about 20 years ago, it started to warp. Um, the stretcher bar is about one inch thick and you can see this was the painting on the canvas. Um, it wasn't originally, but anyway, um, I just want to show you that I ended up cutting off this canvas off of here because there's no way that I could save it and pull it and restretch it and have it be the same size. So my advice to anyone who is going to be doing a painting over the size of 16 by 20 um, is to buy, you can get these at Dick Blick or Michaels, um, but you can see these are an inch and three quarter stretcher bars much, much better for any bigger size canvas because they won't warp over time. Now I wanted to show you two. So this is the piece, I'm not completely done with it. It's got a little bit of glare on it, but you can get the idea. So what I did was I took a piece of MDF board and MDF is a type of plywood, but one side is completely smooth. And I had it glued and pressed onto the board so it would so I don't have any bubbles or anything in here and then I'll just show you a quick video I did a mixed media piece on it there's some fabric and I'm not sure I'm going to keep this yet I did this is a stencil on her face but um this I'm just sort of working through this the piece was very very different than what is here now. I did this piece about 30 years ago and it was just a portrait of a woman sort of, you know, face first. And then I decided when I took it off the canvas, off the stretcher bars where it was warped, that I would try something different with her. So um, I guess I'm showing you this video because, you know, over the course of time, I've realized that sometimes you just let things sit for a while and you can go back to it and you come at it with a new perspective and new ideas. So if you do have a canvas that is, you know, is warped like this one was and unusable, don't throw it away because you can reuse it. So, and here's living proof.